Hi all, welcome back to this Bruce Gate Modeling. Today we will be painting some German Volkstrom figures. I'd first like to draw your attention back to these figures, which I reviewed about nine months ago. Uh, I've just finally gotten time to do something with them. So without further ado, here we go. I've primed these guys black with a downspray, a uh, pre-shade of light gray. Um, we'll be using the glazing method to paint these uniforms. All right, here you can see I've got the nice deep shadows and the nice highlights. And then I'm gonna be taking German field gray thinned to a incredibly thin gray glaze, uh, completely transparent, just a tint of color. And I'm going to paint the entire uniform in it. Um, again, you should definitely still be able to see the highlights at everything. And you should need more than one. I go for five or six, maybe even seven layers. I think this is after the fourth layer. You can see me painting this figure. Um, to really build up the color on uh, the vividness while still keeping the nice contrast with the primer. I'm then gonna do the exact same thing with some heavily, heavily thinned out black on the pants. Um, this is a little bit harder with black, but it's definitely still doable. Um, and it really just can't hurt to try either. Um, and on the shoes, I'm just gonna be painting those brown. Next up, the bread bag is going to get a treatment of khaki. This will be uh, shaded later by brush. Uh, next, we'll be moving on to brush shading on the uniform in particular. This is a bit of the base German field gray that is mixed in with some camouflage German dark green to create a shadow color, which is going in the deeply recessed areas. I made, I think, two or three different mixtures of this with a slightly more dark green added every time to add more and more shadows. I'm then gonna be doing highlights where I just add a little bit of white to the base color and put it on the super raised areas. This process is really just to make sure that it pops after all those glazes tone down the contrast a little bit. This is supposed to work with the glaze, not really um, replace it and cover up some of the color differentiation that we got with it. I've also added some uh, significantly lighter highlights on the super, super raised area, as you can see here, right on the very edges of the coat. Um, you just really wanna make the contrast pop with these figures. All right, uh, here you can see I'm just applying it very, very lightly to the upper edges. This is mostly white, and if you add too much, it looks really, really weird. All right, there you go. That is all done on the uniform. It looks pretty good. All right, uh, next the shoes will be getting a little bit of shading. This is just a lighter brown that I am using to blend a little bit with the shoes. And then we're doing shadows on the bread bag, which has some wonderful wrinkles, so we're really gonna have to accentuate those. This is khaki mixed in with a little bit of darker brown. And I'm then going to be doing highlights, which is khaki mixed with a little bit of pale sand. Again, the bread bag is probably one of the most uh, textured areas on the figure, so go really heavy on that. The pants are getting a little bit of gray highlights as well. Everything is getting nice and shaded. Uh, and the water bottle is also getting shaded. It's now onto the flesh. This is a base coat of, I believe, light rust from Vallejo. Um, this is getting put on all of the flesh in a thin, even coat. You can add more than one coat, but you really don't want it to be too thick. Otherwise, you will cover up those facial details which you really don't want because it makes it so much harder to paint the face later on. I'm also going to paint an armband around his arm. Um, this is black and red um, and white with some details on it before washing the face after I make sure that base coat is completely dry. This is a burnt umber oil wash as I will be using oils on the rest of the face. This is to get those shadows to really, really stand out. I'm then gonna paint some of the fine details while that dries, um, just some uh, metallic stuff on buttons and clamps. I also paint the wooden parts of the rifle with a wooden color and give that some highlights. Gotta make sure that everything is nice and contrasting on these figures. Um, and especially on some of these smaller items, wet blending will be your friend. I'm showing you on this head because it's much easier to film uh, this is my oil painting strategy. I learned it off an article, which I will put in the uh, description. So you can look at it in a little bit more detail. This is a flesh oil color that I mixed that I'm applying to all areas that were not really hit by the wash. And I'm then gonna be taking white 
when this is half dry and blending it down to get really, really nice highlights. Um, this should be relatively contrasting, but it should all blend pretty smoothly. Um, and then, you know, go ahead and paint the eyes. Here you can see the end result on the face in the still photograph, um, as well as the two figures nice and completed here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out, and I hope I'll see you again.